When it comes to Terra Luna Classic, the burns are still rolling in. Guys, it is incredible to see how many people are pitching in and burning Terra Luna Classic. But, you know, we have to realize that burning a coin doesn't translate over into a an immediate price increase. What it does is it reduces the overall supply and allows for the possibility of Terra Luna Classic to reach higher prices by maintaining the same market cap. So I want to talk a little bit about that in this video, but I really want to shine some light on some of the major burn players out there, what's going on with all of these projects, and really what it means for the future of Terra Luna Classic. Because I know the price is getting hit hard today, but the burns are rolling in, and hey, the cheaper the price is, the easier it is to burn. So let's discuss it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, get a link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account, any deposit, you guys are going to get six free stocks during their anniversary promo. So make sure to check that out. It only lasts one more day. And then uh, $1 crypto trade gets you $5 in free crypto. And if you guys want $50 in free Bitcoin, it's one of the best promos that I've seen in a long time. You're going to, you get a link in the description below for Voyager. $100 trade there gets you $50 in free Bitcoin. So make sure to check that out. But guys, Terra Luna Classic has been abandoned by Do Kwon, the uh, so-called leader. Leaders don't abandon anybody. But anyway, Terra Luna Classic has been abandoned by Do Kwon, and it is up to the community now. That is why a lot of people are calling Terra Luna Classic a meme coin at this point, is because it lost its developers, it lost its foundation, it lost its its you know utility in stabilizing the unstable coin that, that Do Kwon created out there. And what we're left with is people trading Terra Luna Classic based on price action. Now, I have seen some very interesting things out there. I'm not going to jump too far into them. But uh, an article on Bloomberg out there said that the... I don't know if they refer to him as lunatics or not. But said that people are acting like Terra Luna Classic is the Titanic. And they are going treasure hunting. We had a coin. It sank. And trust me, it was a massive, massive sink. So Terra Luna Classic sank back or sank down to nothing. It's on the bottom of the ocean right now. We've got all of these bargain and treasure hunters coming in, buying the coin in hopes, right? Not necessarily expectations, but in hopes that we can gather a community around it, rally the price up, and make some money on it. And I know it's difficult to see that every single day, it seems, the price of Terra Luna Classic is coming down. Down to what 5,400 points per coin point, four zeros and a 54 uh, was the low that we saw last night. A drastic decline from the day before, sitting at like 7,000 points per coin. And you know, it's it's difficult to see the declines, but the community keeps building up. And as the price comes down, you are able to burn more of your Terra Luna Classic per transaction. Think about it. If you know, if you can burn a, a I don't know. I'm just going to throw out numbers here. If you can burn a million for a hundred bucks and the price gets cut in half, you're going to be burning two million for a hundred bucks. If it gets cut in half again, you're going to be burning four million for a hundred bucks. And we can really see the, the amount of Terra Luna Classic being burnt over time as the price remains low. Now, Nobody wants to see the price remain low. I know we all want to see it rally overnight and, and wake up tomorrow and it's up 3,000% and everybody's sitting on a, a nice chunk of change there. But we have to remember, these, these risky projects, Shiba Inu coin started out as one and Shiba Inu coin performed phenomenally. What we're seeing with Terra Luna Classic right now is like the very early stages. It is extremely risky. People are talking down on it. The price is very unstable, but the community is being built. All of the lunatics that are out there, you know, they're, they're finding their place. Whether it's buy and hold, whether it's tell somebody, whether it's the, the Twitter accounts that are popping up and promoting Terra Luna Classic or the burn community, you know, we are, people are really finding their place in the lunatics and in this Terra Luna Classic community to take the coin to the next level. You know, we've been abandoned by the leaders, we've been abandoned by the developers, and now it is our turn to, to take this coin and do what we want with it. 
So I do want to shine some light on some of the burners that are out there. And like I said, we've got Mexi Global. It is a centralized exchange out of Singapore, and they are leading the burn initiative right now. What they're doing, and it is slowing down a little bit, along with the price coming down, but what they're doing is the transactional volume that they get on their platform, the fees that they charge, so that little spread there that you're going to be paying to buy and sell your Luna pairs. They've got one Luna pair out there, and anybody buying and selling that is contributing to the burns. They are going to burn 100% of the transaction fees that are associated with those trades, they're burning those in Luna Classic, and they are burning tens of millions of day. It started out a little higher, I will admit. You know, a couple weeks ago when they started out, they were burning 50, 70, 60, 50 million coins per day, and now it's down to, be, you know, the 10 to 20 million coin range, and they're burning roughly 10 to 20 million Terra Luna Classic per day. So, I mean, that's to be expected as well. With the price coming down, you've got less people trading. You may have more people buying, but you're not necessarily seeing that buy and sell that you were seeing a, a couple of weeks ago when Terra Luna Classic was really, really volatile, moving up and down and up and down on a daily basis. So the next one, we've got some Luna Dow or something Luna Classic Dow out there that is burning tens of millions of coins a day. And, you know... I have no problem with it. They're out there. They're trying to grow their Twitter account. They're doing very well, asking for retweets, burning based on retweets. They are sharing receipts of these Terra Luna Classic burns. So by all means, you know, you have to leverage these burns in some way. If you're trying to build a following, go build that following, man, and burn some Terra Luna Classic while you're at it, like the uh, Mexi Global Exchange is doing. They've got, you know, they're bringing, plat they're bringing users onto their platform because of the Terra Luna Classic burns. And then, you know, that's their that's their expense for getting those new users on there. And then we've got, I believe Matt Perry is doing a, a Terra Luna Classic burn channel, the same way they did for Shiba Inu coin. And I, I'm not exactly sure what the burns look like on that one or how many people are using it. But what that would do is you would, you know, hit your playlist and then all of the revenue generated from that, or a portion, I should say, of the revenue generated from that would go to burning Terra Luna Classic. Guys, this is exactly the same way the Shiba Inu coin was built up. You know, the, the burns in that community, they started slow, they started in the millions, and now we're burning billions and tens of billions of coins a day in, in the Shiba Inu coin community over there. And Terra Luna Classic could absolutely be the same way. So if you're thinking about giving up, you know, look on the bright side, make your decision, but never let the negative overwhelm you because there's always a silver lining if you look hard enough. I want to know what you guys think though. Are the burns going to save Terra Luna Classic or do you think we need something else? Let us know in the comments below. This button right here is still red. Make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together you got clayro 883 on twitter and instagram you're getting 50 dollars in free bitcoin if you sign up for voyager in the description and until the next time hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day